Hi there everyone, just wanted to do a quick update for some of my more recent discoveries playing around with these Jewel Thief circuits. Now today I'm using a bit of a custom coil here, um, I will do another video soon to explain more about that, but it's basically two of these garden twist tie coils stuck together in opposing wines and then another Jewel Thief's round around that. Um, I will do another video to explain that in better detail later. Um, the thing I wanted to show today is I was looking at Johnny Davro's video of the reverse Jewel Thief, and Lid Motors replication and a couple of other replications, and I've noticed a few other things as well as being able to run an LED from the with the anode, the positive side, on the emitter of the tr transistor and the cathode in the base, you can also run another one with the anode in the emitter and the cathode in the collector. And look at that, they both light up at the same time. As you can see, it doesn't affect the waveform on the scope. I thought that was really interesting. In fact, I've been playing around and the only place that you can't run an LED is with the anode on the base. I'll do that now. Doesn't matter which way you put it, anode on the base, not going to work. But every other position you can conceive of, that I've conceived of, it will light up. We'll put the anode on the collector and cathode on the base. Oh, get that legs out of there, they're shorting things. Lights up. Anode on the collector and cathode on the base. Well, we all know that one works. But what really surprised me was that anode on the emitter and cathode on the collector, so that's reverse biased. I missed the hole there. It works. And you can run a second one right next to it. Using the... Now what that's actually doing, as far as I can tell on this scope, you will notice there's a slight change in the negative there. Now both these scales are set in 5 volts of division. So we've got minus 9 volts on the blue line here, which is the has the positive probe on the base and the negative probe on the emitter. The yellow line has its positive probe up here on the collector and its negative on the emitter again. So when the, when the dual thief switches off, these flat lines, the transistor's actually turned on. This is when it switches off and causes the um, EMF to break down. You actually get... Because the base is actually connected, it's the same coil, the way you hook these dual thieves up. So when you get the positive spike on the collector, you actually get a negative spike on the base. Depending on your setup, that spike can be really big. Like I'm talking a few hundred volts negative voltage, and I've also seen up to 300 volts positive voltage. I haven't got both happening at the same time in high values yet, but that'll be interesting when we work that one out. But what we're doing here, that negative spike is 9 volts on the base. So we're actually, and there's 0 volts negative on my emitter, because that's hooked up directly to the negative terminal of the battery. So we're actually running this LED on negative voltage. And that's why it works backwards. Anyway, I just thought I'd share that with you quickly. There will be some more detail. I'm going to play around with different transistors. Um, this one I'm using a um, 2N3904 again today. It's a very um, versatile transistor for early prototyping of a new coil or something. It seems to have the widest ranges that it'll work in. Um, I do have all these other transistors here I've been playing with, including these two germanium ones, which have some interesting results. Um, Johnny Davro did want to see that, although I don't have a circuit running as low power as his one does. I will just pop this one in there. I think it'll still work backwards. I'm not sure. I can't remember. And I'll just dial that pot around a bit. It doesn't look like I've got to get some... No oscillating happening on my scope here, so that's not going to fire like that for some reason. I think I may have missed a pin. No, I'm getting power through there. Oh, no, I'll look at that again later. Yeah, I did. I don't have my collector in. There's your problem. Anyway, let's see if we can get some oscillation happening. Oh, there we go. And look at that, it will work. Johnny Davro on a germanium transistor. Um, I'm using 8 milliamps there, it's a fair bit, 8.221 milliamps. The battery's got 1.4 volts in it, so it's nothing like the 80, milliamp, 80 millivolts that Johnny Davro's one runs on, but I'm using a very different coil, so that would explain that. 
Um, I did have a play with a 2N3055 transistor earlier, similar results as these other ones. It does vary things a little bit, you'll get a different shape, waveform and stuff. But, um, yeah, anyway, quick update. You can actually run these LEDs backwards as well as forwards. What you can't do though, is oh that one's not going to work, from base to collector. Not a big enough negative spike there, I think. There's a pretty big one, but no, it's not going to run. We'll run forward, say. So. Quite brightly, in fact. Look at that. Anyway, thanks for watching.